What day is it? Baby chick day. It's baby chick day. And we're gonna bring you guys along with us while we get everything that we need, set everything up, and pick our baby chicks from the post office. We've done this before, so we have some of the items that we need, but we do need to run to our local tractor supply to get a few other items. So come on, let's go. So we needed to get another water and this one's great because it has legs on it. So you can prop it up so the shavings don't get all over it. And then uh, I got my son this because it is only $15 because it's 50% off of the lowest mark price. So he gets a fun little thing to ride around the yard. We're getting an extra heat plate. I already have a heat plate, but I'm thinking I'm going to need two because I have 15 chicks showing up. We're getting organic starter um, crumble. So your chicks are going to need a starter grower key. And I will show you, oh, I'm also picking up two bags of shavings, pine shavings, and you want to get the wide flake. All right, we just got the call. Our baby chicks have arrived. So I had just put the baby down for his nap and had to run back up and get him out of the crib. Um, you don't wanna wait. So once you get the call that your baby chicks have arrived, you wanna get them right away because they're only a day old and they really need to be under a heat source. The likelihood of them living is much greater as soon as you can get them home in a warm environment. So I actually have my heat warmer on the passenger seat on so that when we pick them up, they can be in a warm, cozy space until we can get them home. So who's excited? Me! He's just tired. Anyway, stay tuned. Oh, where are you guys going? Guess what we got? Can you hear that? They're being kind of quiet. Baby chickies are here. We ordered 15. There's four, there's supposed to be 14 hens and one rooster. I know there'll be 15 in there. Whether or not there's 15 that are alive or not, we don't know. That's the one thing about ordering baby chicks is that these babies hatched yesterday. They're only a day old and the travel is really hard on them. So once we open this, when we get home, we'll know if all of them survived obviously or not. And then I'll show you all the things I do to kind of rehydrate them and um, perk them up a little bit after a long travel day. So uh, see you back at the house. All right, so we're home and we have 15 baby chickies. Um, they're all huddled under here. As you can see, they're cold, so they're warming up, but they have eaten. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys how I have this set up. So what we have here is we have the Producers Pride hot plate, heat plate. I have two of these actually. I just picked up another one because as they get bigger, um, they'll still need heat. And so I'll probably need to be able to have two up. So I have one in our brooder coop outside and then I have this one here and I got it at Tractor Supply. Um, I have a one gallon waterer and I went ahead because they had a long traveling day. Um, I added some electrolytes, it's just like a sugar water called Hydrogen. You can get it at, um, tractor supply as well. So you just do one scoop to a gallon of water in there and that'll just kind of give them a little extra after they traveled for so long. I also put pebbles like this, nothing small enough that they could obviously get in their mouth, um, but it keeps them from possibly drowning in that water. They can't fall in. So I put them all the way around the perimeter. They can still, there's enough space for them to get their little beaks in to get water, but they can't fall in. And then I got them chick starter food here. I did the Purina organic and then I got pine shavings and you want to make sure that you get wide flake if you can. Um, the finer flake just has a lot of dust and they can inhale that. So if you can get the wide flake, it's just good rule of thumb. So all 15 are doing well. My little Polish baby, she seems like I was saying, all are alive. My little Polish uh, hen, she seems to be struggling. I am gave her some sugar water. She had a little bit and she's 
under there staying warm. And if I feel like she's getting trampled or anything, I'll pull her out of there and just like tuck her in my shirt or something. And hopefully she'll bounce back. Maybe just like we said, a hard travel day. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, but, um, this is our little brood that we have going. We have 15 here and one of them is a rooster and then we have four hens outside. So that'll put us at about 19 baby chicks. So yeah, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll try to get to it. Thanks guys.